Hey everyone, Sam here from Barn2 with a quick video about how to add a date picker to your WooCommerce products. Here's an example of what I'm referring to in my demo store. I have these service products that require a reservation. I can choose a date in the future as well as a time for my booking. This normally wouldn't be possible as WooCommerce doesn't have a date picking feature by default. So to enable this, I'm using our WooCommerce product options plugin. And today I'll show you how to set it up so you can add this feature to your own products. This is obviously useful for service businesses, but it's also useful for renting or leasing products, selling event tickets, or providing personalized offers. But whatever your reasons, it's much easier to accomplish this goal with the help of a plugin. To follow along with this tutorial, you can try out the admin demo by visiting our website or you can simply purchase a copy of the plugin for your own site. In either case, use the first link in the description below. And just so you know, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee as well. Now, of course, for this tutorial to work, I'm going to assume that you already have a WordPress website and WooCommerce installed and set up. If you haven't done that already, you can check out this big video I made, which explains everything in detail and how to get your website started from scratch. Now, if you are purchasing the plugin, follow these steps to install and activate it on your site. If you're just trying out the demo today, skip to step two using the timestamps in the video. After checkout, you'll get an email with the zip file and a product key for activation. In the WordPress admin, go to plugins, add new plugin, and upload the plugin zip file that you just downloaded. Click install and then activate. In the setup wizard, enter your license key and click activate. Then skip the other steps and go to your products page. If you don't see the setup wizard, use this link to go to the plugin settings page. Click on settings and enter your license key here. From the products page, you can click on add new or edit an existing product as I will be doing here. Give it a name like my service or whatever else you like. In this case, I have candlelit massage 45 to 90 minutes. Don't forget to add a suitable description and product image. Then scroll down to the product data section. For the price, I would enter the minimum price that you want to charge for this service. If this is simply a booking feature, then you should set the price to $0. Don't leave this box blank because WooCommerce requires this field to be filled in so that you can add the products to your cart. However, in my case, I'm putting $39 as the minimum price for the service and additional prices can be added later on. Now click on the inventory tab and make sure to check this box sold individually. So you're limiting these items to one per order. Otherwise, customers could add multiple to their order by mistake. Click on update or publish the product. And then you can do this for as many new products as you'd like before moving on to the next section. Now that we've added our products, we can move on to step three, where we'll add the date picker to it. Start by navigating to products and find product options. Now, these are all of the option groups that I have created and applied to various different products. In some cases, I've applied it to all products. You can see here, I've already created an option group for services and applied it to my massage services. So let's see what that looks like by clicking on edit. But if you're starting from scratch, click on add group. Give this group a name, something that's obvious for you. Like in my case, I've just given it the name services and you do not have to display this as there is other text that will be displayed automatically. In the visibility section, you can either display it globally on all your products, or you can only show it on specific categories or products, and you can search for those products or categories here. For example, I have a services category, and I can add that, and that basically contains all of these products. So in this case, I don't actually need it. Exclusions, I would only use this if you are displaying globally on all products, but you want to exclude certain products from that list. 
Now when starting from scratch, you'll click on this Add Option button. But in this case, I have the option already, so I'm going to click on Edit. Give this option a name, and this will be what the customer will see if you click on this Display option. So for, for my case, I have Choose a Date and Time, and then I've clicked on the Date option type. Now I'll scroll down and make sure that the label is date and the price is no cost because it shouldn't cost anything to choose a day and a time. If you did want to charge a deposit for a booking, you could add a price here and that could be a flat fee or some kind of percentage based fee. Make sure to disable all past dates. And if you want to disable today's bookings as well, that's an option you have. I would also enable time and make sure that disable future dates is unchecked so people can choose a date in the future. You can disable certain days of the week, such as Saturdays, Sundays, or Mondays. And in the description text, which will appear below the date field, I recommend mentioning that you will contact the customer after they place their order to confirm availability and that reservations are not guaranteed until that point. Make sure to check the required box so all reservations will come with a date and time. Then click on Save Changes. Go back into the option type and choose the Advanced Settings toggle. Choose the date format that's normal in your own country. Here I have the month followed by the day and the year. In the date limits, you can select how short notice and how far in the future you will accept reservations. For example, putting plus 60 days like this will disable bookings that are more than 60 days in the future. You can also disable specific dates that you might be closed or away for holidays, and you'll need to go in and update this from time to time to make sure that you're not receiving bookings on days where you're closed. Here's an example for Christmas Day in 2024. Time limits are for your business's opening and closing times, or the latest time that you would accept a reservation. And for time increments, this is just how much the hours will move when customers use the up or down arrows. So one hour is normal for most cases. And in minutes, you can choose if you want them to move up and down the minutes by 15 minute, 30 minute, or maybe even 45 minute increments, but probably 15 or 30 is appropriate. Finally, conditional logic is used if you want to dynamically show and hide the date field based on certain criteria. So you want to show this option if certain conditions are met. Then once again, save your changes. After adding our date picker to our products, we should add some additional product options to give customers even more flexibility when making their booking. You can use this add option button to add as many additional fields as you'd like to the same option group, which will be applied to all of these products. And in this case, here I have some suggestions. I've already added this choose a service option. And when we open that up and take a look, these are radio buttons, which on the product look like this. So we have 45 minutes, 60 minutes, and 90 minutes. And you'll see I've got additional charges over and above what the minimum price is for this massage. So I've chosen radio buttons, and then you scroll down here, and you can see I've added all of these here using this plus button or this minus button to remove. And the first one, 45 minutes, has no cost because this is just the minimum price, which is already applied to the product. But for the longer massage lengths, 60 and 90 minutes, I've added a price increase. Now you can pre-select one of these by default, or you can leave it completely unchecked so the customer has to choose one. And don't forget to check this required option. So customer must choose one in order to book the service. And you can also add a further description if you want to clarify something for the customer. Another suggestion I have is to give them the option of choosing a staff member. Or in this case, it may be a masseuse or a hairdresser, barber, etc. 
Now you could also use radio buttons for this, but I think image buttons are a much better way to do this because then you can add an individual image of a staff member, give them a label, and if they require a higher fee, you can even add that here. Then you can add as many staff members as you need to, add a description, make sure the image is the correct size, and finally you can choose to display the label and the image buttons, which I think is a good idea in this case. You can choose whether that's going to be a full overlay, partial overlay above or below the images. And finally, this should also be required. So now let's refresh that page. And we can see that we have our date picker, just like I showed you at the beginning of the video. Customers can choose a time and this is 30 minute increments. They can choose a service and a staff member to help them. And finally add that to their basket. Now I don't really like this overlay, so let's see how it looks when we change that setting. I've switched it to being below the image. All right, and here we have the staff member name as well as the additional fee. And that should just about do it. One thing to be aware of is that this plugin does not account for real-time availability. You will still have to manage that on your end. Make sure to confirm with each customer after they've made their booking or reservation to make sure that you don't become double booked. If you need a more comprehensive WooCommerce reservation system with built-in availability, then we recommend using the Yith WooCommerce Bookings plugin instead. And the link for that is also below. If you'd like to find out what else our WooCommerce product options plugin can do for you, then I'd recommend watching this video next, or click on this link here to try out the plugin for yourself. And of course, thanks for watching.